how to create a frame or multiple frames on a single picture. And now in this picture, I'm going to have a blurry background and I'm going to create or select multiple images and multiple custom shapes to create those frames. So, right, got this initial image. I'm just going to quickly blur it. I don't want this design. This is in Photoshop, Photoshop CS6. Same approach, basically for CS5, CS4. And I'm just going to quickly blur the image. Blur. Gaussian blur, good old Gaussian blur, and just blur that a bit. Okay, right, so I've done that. Now I'm just going to go to another picture, and I want to create a frame from this. So I'm just going to go to the custom shape tool, and I've got a selection of custom shapes. They're from uh, Graphic Extras, they're curved frame designs, and I'm just going to select one of those. Now I'm just going to go to the quick mode mask and I'm just going to just quickly select that bit then I'm just going to go back out of it now you will see a selection so invert that copy now I'm just going to go back and I want to paste that in so I'm just going to go paste right so that's a quick easy one now of course I could make multiple copies of that I'm just going to do them along the the bottom so I'm just going to quickly do that and now I'm just going to go to the layer layer style I'm just going to add a stroke to that and I'm going to add a white stroke just make it just a bit bigger so it's okay and maybe drop shadow as well just move that down there right just quick design okay now, obviously, I've created that one, selected that one. So I'm just going to go to another one and custom shape tool again. I'm going to select a different mask, quick mode, quick mask mode, quickly select that. Now, go out again, invert, copy, go back. Paste again. You've got another image there. Of course, you can overlap them if you wish, or just have them along line or in different positions. Maybe make multiple copies of them. Again, you could create uh, different ones. So I'm just going to layer style and now stroke. Again, you could actually make, of course, this frame a default. There's a make default option. So you can actually make the frame to be always white as well as a drop shadow if you wish to make it a bit quicker. So obviously you can make a slightly bigger frame if you wish as well. Of course you could have a bevel as well if you wanted to make a slightly different design to that selection. Maybe it doesn't look very good but uh, just quickly get rid of that. Okay. And now the final one. Let's just picture here. So I'm going to select another frame. Just quickly do that and just select that. But of course, that's the key thing you've always got to remember when you do this is to not just apply it across. Now you have to go to the quick mask. So just go over there. Of course, you could also do the pass as well. There's an option here, pass, that you can use, and you could use that to create a selection as well. That's another way of doing it. So I've done that. Go out of there, inverse, gain, copy, and then go back and now paste that. And of course, you can resize that as well. You don't have to stick with that size. You don't have to stick with that angle as well. You could uh, distort the image, maybe have it slightly angled to create a slightly better effect. Right. And now, if you want to gain another frame, and of course, you know, so you don't have to go with black, but you can just go with white. Some people like that. Okay. Change the size, maybe make a bigger frame. Now, yeah, so you can just do that. And of course, you can even apply maybe a gradient or a pattern as well, if you wish, to that frame. So you don't have to uh, go with it. And of course, you can scale it. That's the one good thing about that. So you can actually see there, sort of, you can create a quick frame using a pattern so right just going to go back to the other one as well so color drop shadow again and 
okay. Right, so that's a quick and easy way, and I'm going to flatten that, of creating a quick frame mask design with a bl slightly blurry background. But of course, you could apply different effects to that background uh, and do well, anything.